Oh dear. Okay, I'm explaining to mother about what I found in the Bluebird house and she's given me some extra information here for you bluebird lovers out there who may have a birdhouse or who want to build a birdhouse in their backyard or what. Okay, so what were you saying, Mother? Well, I heard that after there's a one nest in there and after they've left the nest, you should clean it out because if they build a nest on top of a nest and on top of another nest, then other birds could get their head in there and eat the eggs or maybe something else could. Or like a raccoon, if he just puts his arm down there, I yeah, was telling people, if he it, could just reach down there a little bit. That's why the hole's up so high. Yeah. Right? Yes. And um, uh, they want the nest to be down low so right. their enemies okay. can't reach them. <laughs> so I was telling her I did find some eggs in there, but I think they're bad eggs. Yeah, and it, I don't think they're ever going to hatch, but I'm leaving them in there just on the off case that off chance that the bluebird's going to come back. But we haven't seen any bluebird and some other ones around the neighborhood, all their babies have hatched and stuff. So uh, here we are in June and they probably hatched previously, mid-June, before mid-June, right? Maybe. Okay, so do your homework on that. And what's the other thing? Somebody put that birdhouse in your backyard years ago and they ch only charge you like ten dollars right yes uh right here in lincoln hills we have a bird uh club and the bird club made bluebird nests bluebird houses and we could buy them for ten dollars and the man i paid him ten dollars he delivered the birdhouse and he said don't paint it don't paint it how come no because um, like a pretty blue or pretty red or yeah different but don't paint it because i guess it lets more air in for some reason you don't paint the bluebird house oh okay so that's why it looks pretty weathered yeah it does look pretty weathered and it looks like uh, i don't know how much longer it's going to last but it, it's still up there oh well, that's good. <laughs> And I'm glad I got it. My neighbor lady that used to live next door, she would tell me, oh, go out and watch the bluebirds. They're coming back and forth. They're coming to my place and then they're flying over to your place. Watch the bluebirds. Yeah, and sometimes, uh, we've been out there in the past, haven't we? And they come and, tr and, and if you're walking around, they'll come and fly down and bombard you and try to hit you on the head. Yeah, they if don't. They have, if they have babies. Yeah. Or if they have their eggs. <laughs> you don't want to get too close to them. <laughs> now, now I just saw a bird fly out there, but it was a, it looks like a robin. Some, some kind of different bird. It's not, it, it's not a blue bird. It's one with the little red head. But only blue birds use that, that house too, right? No other birds use that, do they? Well, there's another kind of a bird that... I have, what is it called? But they will use it. Oh, at a different time of year? Well, or first, first come, come, first serve. <laughs> oh, okay, something like that. Yeah. All right, well, I did notice there was at least two nests in there, so you're gonna, yeah. I'm going to have to be more aware of that each time I come here to, to uh, see when the birds are going to nest and when to take those, those out. But I probably should... Uh, check those eggs another another time i doubt very seriously any of those are going to hatch because it's still too late and i don't think any more birds are going to come there but before next season i'm going to have to uh get rid of get rid of those nests right before the next one comes in look at that there's a there's a big bunny rabbit out there jack rabbit he's sitting out there they like to come to my backyard. Yeah. I yeah. had some cute little cotton. Cottontails and jackrabbits, right? Yes. And the little babies were so darling, the cottontails. And even the little baby jackrabbits are cute. And their ears stand right up. Yeah. <laughs> tell me tell me your uh, your coyote story with the jackrabbit. Oh. By the front yard, by the front yeah. window. What happened? Because I, I, you get coyotes here too, huh? Oh, yes. 
We do. We have coyotes come around. In like fact, that. the neighbor's cat has come up missing, and he's been a, a, kind of an outside cat. Nobody knows where he's at, and I'll bet you he's in some coyote's stomach. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's your coyote story? Okay, in my kitchen window, one morning I heard this noise, whoop, and I thought, what in the world was that? And I went and looked out my window, and there was a coyote looking right at me. And so I backed up a little bit, and the coyote backed up towards the sidewalk, and then I got, came up a little closer to the window again, and he ran right under my window. He had a jackrabbit, and he grabbed that jackrabbit, and the big noise I heard, I think, was the coyote pouncing on the jackrabbit. Right up against the wall. Yeah, and he grabbed that jackrabbit and ran down the street so fast. <laughs> Poor jackrabbit. Oh, well, one less jackrabbit to worry about, right? <laughs> Let's go see. Let's go see if that jackrabbit is still out, out here. And I think it is. I think it is. We've got to be really quiet. I just saw it through the screen. Let's see here. I'm not gonna walk all the way out there. Maybe I'll just stay right. Oh, oh. Ah, I think you saw him run. I think you saw him run, didn't you? He was right there. I should have been more quiet. And I was gonna zoom the camera in, but you saw him. You saw him through the uh, through the screen earlier. Okay, well he's down in there. All right. Bye bye, Mister Waskly Wabbit.